Okay, so let's see if this generates something interesting or not. Um, now, the best thing is um, I told I told my opponent if if this generates a um, points per turn uh, X axis, I'm redoing it. <laughs> He com he completely agrees. <laughs> so, um, um, okay. Look, victory X worth 258 in the battle. So looks looks okay. Just make sure I don't I don't think they come up with different ones, but just to be sure, um, I can find it. Uh, well, hard to get it because you can't see on this Mac. You can't see the actual victory X's. Uh, 250. See what we're starting with. Um, 100. Yeah, so it's actually worth going for the the metric axis in the in the center. Um, 100. Okay. Let's see what does the map look like? Uh, very open. Wow. <laughs> My infantry are not going to do well here. It's not an. It's not. It's not flat though. Um, uh, Germans will be starting on this side. Uh, I've confirmed that in a test earlier. So, um, now, uh, find the center of the map. Ninety-nine. So the center should be around forty-five. So, oops. so around there, that's the center of the map approximately, um, and it'll be 25, it's, no, uh, 12x is that way for visibility, uh, and 12x is that way, so visibility 25. Not sure how it adjusts for the odd number, but so. Uh, start line will be on that side. And mine will be around there. Well, that would put us in tree cover to start with, and definitely some tree cover here. Um, actually, the victory axes are uh, in these trees, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Um,
<laughs> uh, both from an uh, entertainment and a result point of view. Um, I was actually quite surprised. I I enjoyed that. That was for, I enjoyed that battle more than uh, the other two I've played so far. So um, something went right in that one. I don't know what it was though. Uh, I haven't hit the magic formula yet. So normally I would take a rifle company. Um, and that's a lot of points now. We're up to. I, I take the anti-tank rifle, which I usually do. Um, we're at 368 points. I think that's about 20 points more. Um, maybe getting the getting to that to the limit where I can actually take an entire rifle company. You may have to consider uh, a rifle platoon. Um, the disadvantages you don't really you lose a lot of rally points because you don't have the company HQ anymore. Um, so I don't know. Now <clears throat> it doesn't mean that you have to get a lot of extra stuff, um, which may not be a bad thing. But the thing of it is that there's a lot of there's artillery included in that. Um, if I were to go and look at how much um, uh, light. Uh, if I can find a light mortar platoon costs 45 points, um, and so you know you, you you'd have to I'd have to buy these extra, and now 45 points is a lot of points. Uh, so if I look at um, that, that will count against artillery, and I've only got a 10% limit. So I don't think. I mean, it, it still looks like it's a it's a good it's still a good price because you're getting artillery for free. Well, not for free, but uh, you're getting artillery that's not included in your in your artil art artillery limit. So that's a good thing. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go with that again. Um, uh, we're we gonna go with the expensive one. That's 368 points. Um, now, this set, that this does mean I'm probably not gonna have any extra infantry. <laughs> um, if I take any any armor at all, uh, really actually struggled to put together a balanced force with this now. Because one would think, well, yeah, at least well, I thought that. Um, just shifting that that few months would actually be very similar um, uh, very similar costs, but that's not. It's actually quite quite a lot more expensive. Um, so not really sure how this is going to work out. So uh, we go with the scouts next. Um, probably. Uh, Go with the four-man scouts, but I can only get two, I think, um, which is why I did in the first battle. These are very, these are very expensive because I think these are in the first battle these were probably 27 points or something, so they've, they've gone up about three points. Um, I don't know what the justification is though. Um, I mean, they still they still arm pretty much the same way. <laughs> um, they I I don't know what you get what you're getting more than you did before, um, so it's kind of a, kind of a difficult choice to make. Um, so actually, um, but I do need more than that, more so I, more so recon than that. So I'm thinking uh, two men, which is what I did in the first battle. So I got three of those, uh, three. Platoons, but one of them is a two man. Um, in theory, only two of these platoons are actually in the front. The other one is supposed to be a reserve. Yeah, that's that's not happened yet in any of my battles. Um, unfortunately, there won't be enough um, to buy another uh, in, infantry platoon if, unless I do that. Um, like unless I forego something else, so. Uh, but it's, I think that's a good start. Now, um, 
probably should just get the artillery. Because um, I know what I'm going to get there. It's not no real guessing. It's going to go with the two like that. Uh, these are these are gone up as well, I think. Because uh, I think there's 30, they're up by four points. Uh, so in the space of six months or so, they they are four points more expensive. <laughs> Again, I don't really know what just what the reason is for it. It's, it's kind of a difficult thing for me to understand. Um, so yeah, it's not wouldn't be long before uh, the thousand point the thousand points is just would not be adequate for the same um, size battle that I that I'm hoping to get right. Uh, you'd actually need more points just to get the same size battle as as you uh, as as you goes uh, to into later war years. So uh, as it stands, I don't think I I would be going past 1940 um, with this point points range. So because um, it just looks like it, my what I'd be able to get would be much less each time. Um, okay, so I need a forward observer. All the easy stuff and some transport for the mortars in case they need to be trucked around. Har har. Uh, I should go with the truck section. We'll take the cheaper one. Actually, I actually think these are the same price. Can't remember exactly. Um, okay, so. Um, so far, so good. I mean, this is basically what I. What I expect. Um, uh, in my experiment earlier, I tried three, four-man platoons, and it's just too too expensive. They, the four-man platoons are now 30 points, so it just throws it off too quickly. So I'm guessing the two-man ones will be with the tanks, probably depending on what those might be. Um, so uh, one. Now we don't really have a lot. <laughs> we can. Uh, it's actually not a lot of points left. Um, so probably one MG section. Um, I don't think I can. Really, I can't justify getting two of them as much as I'd like to. So I guess the difference. I mean, I was able to comfortably get two MG uh, heavy machine gun sections. In the previous battle, uh, but that was in 1939, <laughs> uh, so, uh, September 1939. Um, okay, so hmm, after that, what do we? What do I want? Uh, probably sniper. Uh, go. What I had in the first battle, which is two of them. Uh, those are quite expensive. They were actually only 15 points in the first battle, um, but that was also in September 1989. <laughs> so yeah, it, the, that there has to be. Uh, I have to find a a a, a good num uh, points points value. I I thought so going to struggle a bit. I think be, until I get used to. Um, I I, so I think I probably should stay in around 1939 uh, for the next few battles and just to get used to the balance um, uh, at 1,000 points and then maybe increase it to 1,200, but do the same in the same uh, uh, period so that I I'm, I'll be more familiar with the what the, the, with the, the balance that I could get. Because uh, right now I'm still struggling to find a balance, right? Um, so that's why it's a bit awkward. I'm, so I'm going with what I know worked in the first battle. Um, that was that. I mean, the, the battle went okay with the forces I had. So well, let's we'll go with that again. Um, I don't know if it'll still work, but we'll try. <laughs> Can't think of what else to do. Um, uh, now, like things like engineers, uh, 85 points, you know, um, can't justify it actually. <laughs> now, I, I think, I, the one thing I don't know is whether that's 
the case for all of the um, like all of the nations, uh, and the, their cost goes up. So I don't know. Uh, of course, my opponent is is the same person. So I mean, he doesn't have to have isn't faced with that because he's been playing different nations every single time. Um, so yeah, it, I, I'm not really getting comfortable. <laughs> this is the thing with uh, with. Uh, so I don't know if I should, if I should stay. You know, if I just stick to one. I think I will from, I mean, because the next few battles should be, well, in, this is in April, should, the next one should be in May, I think. Um, so, you know, that's the Battle of France and so on, low and uh, low countries. So, I don't know how much different the pricing will be. I guess I'll find out. Um, but all of those will be in this, there'll be different kind of nations in the same year, in the same month and year, so that should help me a little bit. Okay, so hmm. I have 170 points left. Don't know. Uh, I think I've got all the artillery I'm gonna get. Um, now, if I look at if I look at this side here, probably some fast units to take that in the first turn, but it needs to be fairly self-sufficient. The infantry will uh, move up through here, I think. Um, assuming they can do it fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what, what would that be? What kind of armor could... Now, in the first battle I had two Mark Ones. Um, I think they were... They were all, they were slightly cheaper, thirty six points or something. I can't remember. They might have been in the same range, but anyway. So that's actually they, that looks about the same price. Yeah, that makes sense because I mean the Mark One was already not. I mean it was still a common tank, but it was mm, well established, so to speak. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it wasn't going to be around much longer. Um, I think it stuck around for the Battle of France, and then that was it. Um, by by 1941, it disappeared. It had disappeared. So that that tank should actually start getting cheaper. Um, actually, no, it won't. It'll, it'll actually get more expensive because it becomes more rare, right? Um, yeah. See, the chance, the rarity's already gone up to one. Um, same with that one. So maybe time to consider some actual um, real tanks. Maybe uh, so. Seventy-six points. Uh, mark thirty-eight T is eighty-four points. I have a, a hundred-point limit, ten percent. So could go with one of those. I don't. I can't get. And I can't get more than that. Um, one. One. T Tank section. Uh, 38T, the Mark III is 100 points. I think this one will get cheaper um, I, because it becomes a lot more common. Um, uh, past this point, because as these, uh, you know, these ones are being phased out, right? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so let's consider that. Let's see. Uh, I, that is 86 points. Now I need. Uh, obviously, the tank's going to need support. I can put the. What can the 38T carry? Yeah, they can carry six men. There's a total of 12 men between them. Actually, let's 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 go all out first, and then try backing up from there. Must go with a Mark III. It's 100 points. It's maximum maximum points. Um, at least about 70 points. Not a lot of points. Um, now, I should have looked at this. The Mark III can carry eight men, so we have a total of 16 men it can carry. 
probably get eight men there. They can all fit on one tank, actually. No, that's six men there. They can fit on one tank. Maybe the snipers on there as well. Uh, on that's one tank. Now the other the tank could carry some other. Um, Don't know, um, but they're gonna need some escort. Uh, tanks by themselves are not gonna be very good. Um, I was I was looking at the motorcycle, um, but they're so expensive. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Um, And the um, yeah, LMG motorcycle is even worse. Sixty-six points. Um, that's that's it. Four points left. Uh, that is a very very small force. Um, for not a lot of uh real game. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think the Mark Three is a going to be a bit expensive for this point range. So let's back that out. Um, Panzer 38T. I can only carry six. So one tank can carry all all of those. Um, not sure what else they would carry. Yeah, let's see. Uh, by one section, I don't think I can get much. I don't think I can get anything else if I do that. Uh, so, so my problem is that I'm I'm every single battle. Um, you'd I'd have to stick in the same month to really get a feeling for being able to balance this, because <laughs> I I don't have it. I, I have not you know, in the in this is the fourth points battle, um, and I still haven't got any idea of how to create a balanced force. So um, I don't know how long it would. I, I I I'm thinking that I need to. So I'm hoping I, I'll be able to stick to uh, 1940. Uh, and there's a lot of different nations for my opponent to play. So um, and then. Play that, you know, play enough battles in there, and then move to 1,200 probably, because otherwise this the points limit is, is will be uh, the points limit will actually be a, become a problem, I think. So uh, okay, now I was looking at the motorcycle, LMG motorcycle, because these are actually recon, so. They, uh, but I'm not sure what they actually are. I mean, they. Uh, I, have to, I have to go look look to see what they actually classified as. Uh, something I can find it. It's really hard to find things in here. Uh, his motorcycle. Is that an actual class? Okay, that is the actual class. I didn't realize motorcycle was a separate class. <laughs> um, This is actually a separate class. Um, hmm. It's 
very fast. Um, Classified as motorcycle, it's nothing. I thought I would give me some idea what uh, that meant, but it didn't. Oh, okay, it's right in here. Um, uh, there it is, three though, that's kind of peculiar. Um, I guess they would. I thought they were quite common in the early war. I no. Oh. Anyway, so if I consider that uh, a way to support um, the tanks, because it some there has to be something that moves. For, can, they can carry some of the the scouts, um, but then there's no. They actually need infantry around them, right? But they infantry need to be able to keep up. <laughs> so <laughs> that's that's going to be tricky. Um, the only thing I can think to provide is. Is uh, some motorcycle? Uh, all the cars are not really. All the cars are not really an option if you look at the pricing of them. Yeah, just one. I mean, we're just one point off. <laughs> one point. One point. Look at this. Look at this one. Different. We get to look at the 35. That is 94 points, and uh, which is maybe a little gives me a little bit more flexibility. The 35 is definitely not as good um, compared to a 38. So. What I need to support that. Um, maybe actually, maybe possible to. If they can carry six each. Actually, maybe get them, get them separate. left. <sighs> well, I, I'm narrowing it down. I, um, it's either going to be 35 or 38 and these ones. I, I, this, this part I'm uh, is, is what worked previously. Um, there are 36 points. Okay, can't get those. Wow. 
<laughs> I'm feeling I'm feeling sticker shock at the moment with, with how expensive the units have become. Um, Think of it as uh, the uh, cost is 24, so I can actually get um, one of them separately because if you, if you buy it, uh, if you, if you buy the platoon and it can only afford one of them, then it will just put um, just give you the one. No, demonstrate. It'll just give you the one, um, which may be kind of pointless right now. Uh, so since I'm left with so few points that I can't actually get anything else... <clears throat> now, why am I feeling like this This, this force is very, very weak? <laughs> um, yeah, probably because it is, actually. Once I can find something that's around 28, like, like 25 points or 24 points or something like that, uh, I might as well go for the more expensive tank, I think. Uh, LMG sections didn't quite work out for me. Uh, I have flamethrower sections. No. no um, Way too expensive. Um, and they're like 30 points. No. But right now it has to be something that can move with that. So, um, the only thing I can see that can do that. Half tracks, um, which are 21 points. Half track section is 42 points. Get one half track. I don't know if that's that all useful. Um, oh, we have scout cars, which is 18 points. Um, they, they, they're armed with machine guns, they're not, they, they're quite, they're very cheap, <laughs> um, and probably can be used, uh, to get, to get, to take some victory axes very quickly, um, Back up. Let's see if I can do that with a uh, 38T. It's a slightly better tank, so. Whoops. <laughs> I bought 
two of them, I only went to that one. Motorcycle LNG. Gives you 20 points. And looking at Scout Car. Uh, they can carry two men. I have no idea what they carry. That's 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 the uh, that's the problem. <laughs> so I mean, the thing of it is, if I if I split these out, um, Anybody though, that's the that's the main problem with them. Um, oops. Uh. Okay, they get very pricey. Close to my artillery limit, I can't think of anything. Um, well, they're anti tank guns, but I don't think there's. Um, no, I don't think there's the points is can spread around that easily on that. An anti tank gun section is 38 points. Got 41 points left, but you're gonna need um, vehicles for that. Um, actually, no, I gotta be careful here because that is armor, so that I put myself over the limit. Um, yeah. So now I know that the scout cars don't count and the motorcycles won't count um, against the armor, obviously, and scout cars don't count against the armor. So that would be, that, that looks to be the safest thing to get. Um,
else that fits. I don't think so. I don't think there's anything else that I can that I can find for. It's so hard. <laughs> well, you get you can get. Uh... Okay, well, if I go with tank mine uh, and, and the anti tank. might be useful. Don't know. I mean, here's the thing. I don't. What am I? What am I going to be trying to do here? I'm, if I use the uh, motorcycle and scout car to take that. Um, and then try to send them around that way to get those ones. Um, but that, I mean, like that's the first. I could probably, I probably take that in the first turn. But then they're out in the open, <laughs> relying on their speed to get back into cover in the second turn. Um, but if I'm going to do that, it has to be done with cheap units, right? It can't be done with anything that's going to cost me a lot. Uh, because the chances are they won't make it. So, uh, try to use the scout cars to take the, um, the victory hexes early on. That's, 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 let's see if that works. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so the two-man platoon, scout platoons will ride on the tanks. Um, the, the tanks are very small, so they can only carry six. Um, that that's well. When one one the one two man platoon can fit on there, <laughs> no problem. So I mean, I have to distribute them a little better than that. Um, and maybe somebody else as well, an observer team or something on there. I don't know. Very very small force. I, I it it looks really tiny. Um, hmm. Well, the other advantage is that cool, cool Barkins can take these guys around, but uh, can carry some of these, you know, like uh, the Panzerjägers to wherever they need to go if they, someplace, out, you know, on the battlefield they're needed, because otherwise. I don't really have any way to move move units around. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Um, this map is very open, but most of the fighting is gonna probably gonna happen in this area here because that's where most of the victory axes are. Um, this one would be difficult for infantry to hold because it's just there's just not enough cover here. Um, so you can take it, but you definitely won't, won't be able to hold it. Um, however, you do need to defend this side, and I don't know how I'm going to do that. Yeah, so my force is not very well thought out. I, I've taken tanks and so on, but that's not necessarily helpful, right? Because um, how how am I going to defend that side of the map? Um,
Hmm, I don't know. Okay, but I don't. I. Uh, I'm starting with a good feeling here. <laughs> I really don't know what, what whether this this is a good choice. I I have no idea. It just seems a little haphazard. I mean, there's no point in buying units if you don't know what, you can, what you're going to do with them, right? So, uh, but what else could? What else is there? I mean, I, 